tea isn't very good. That's how I make it every morning. I'm probably in a bad mood, that's why. This is my last time making tea for you. Why do you say that? Today is my last day, remember? I'm trying to... We discussed this last week, Miss Jacobs, that I'm leaving on Saturday for another job. This is Saturday. Oh, I didn't take you seriously, so please, let's forget about this. My suitcase is packed, Miss Jacobs. Then unpack it. There's no need to leave, Yvette. This is my plane ticket to Boston. Oh, huh. I see. Miss Jacobs. I'll give you the money back, don't worry. I'm still going, Miss Jacobs, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. Why do you want to leave me? Haven't I been good to you? Would you like more sugar in your tea? It might taste better. You haven't answered me. It's better not to say anything. I'll increase your pay. I wouldn't work for you for a six-figure paycheck. I've come to realize my mental health is more important. What does mental health have to do with this? Ever since I worked for you, my mental health has declined. You're blaming me for you losing your mind? Well, I never. Enjoy. You're crazy. Thanks to you. My word. The disrespect. You know why I'm working right now? Out of respect for you, I didn't have to work today. But ever since I worked for you for 12 years, I thought it was the least I could do. I could have disappeared, leave without telling you. You're not capable of such disloyalty. <laughs> well, I am now. Come have a seat next to me. Let's talk this over. Boston is so far away. And how will you make a living for yourself? You live in a mansion, darling. The mansion of a movie star. So I'm asking, are you stupid or crazy? I'm neither, Miss Jacobs. Just frustrated. About what? You frustrate me, Miss Jacobs. Little old me? Fantastic me? Golden Globe winner me? Yes. All those things you. I'm not difficult. Do you want me to list your faults? How long is this list? Novel length. Sorry, my attention span is so short, I only read children's books. I'm going upstairs to get my suitcase. Wait a minute, Yvette, wait! I'm right here and you're abusing my ears. Sorry, you know I was voted Scream Queen in 89. And 90, and 93, and 94, and clearly represented. Don't go, Yvette, please. There's no one who knows me like you do. We're girlfriends. I tell you all my secrets. I wish you didn't, Miss Jacobs. I wish you didn't. Well, who can I trust? You have to find someone. Try Craigslist. Will there be another Yvette on there? Another sweet Yvette? Flattery would not help, Miss Jacobs. No. No, 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 no! What will I do? I can't do anything without Yvette. I mean, I have at times been mean to her, but she has yet to put poison in my food, and that means that she is a good person. Where will I find another person that will put up with me? Hmm, what if I Google good people looking for work? But they're short in supply and probably sold out. What can I do to convince Yvette to stay? See, think, think, think. Well, she doesn't like me very much, which is understandable. I pay people to like me, but that doesn't work with her. Why are good people such snobs? No, 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 no. I like Yvette exactly the way she is. If she were another person, she would have probably already tried to murder me for my money. That's how Bertha got fired. And Tracy. And Melissa. And Amy. The good old Yvette. Hasn't pulled a knife on me yet. So I have to keep her. Maybe there's one way. Why don't you stay? Just one more day. One more day might be the day that breaks me. You're making me sound like such a horrible person. I'll sure miss here, though. You know, I bought you all the stuff in that suitcase. You're taking along a lot of memories. Oh, I know. I'm going to burn them in Boston. I really don't want to remember this place. What if I make changes? 
What do you mean? To this place? To me. I'll get help. Hello, Dr. Hines? Yes, I'd like to schedule a therapy appointment for today at 3. You're booked. I'll bring some money. Okay, see you at 3. See? I appreciate what you're doing, Miss Jacobs, but I've already made up my mind. What if I make you a guest in one of my movies? Miss Jacobs, behave yourself. If you stay, I will. It's not worth it. Damaging my health for money? I'd rather be poor and sink. <laughs> I wish I were more like you. <laughs> Maybe I'll be a lot happier. There, there, Miss Jacobs. You have some good in you. Really? Like what? I'll think about it on my flight to Boston and mail you a list. You can't go, Yvette. Maybe if you stay, some of your good qualities will rub off on me. You're a good person, right? Don't good people do good deeds, even for the wicked? They do, Miss Jacobs. Then you must stay. Miss Jacobs, you're not making this very easy for me, are you? Just so you know, I'll be following behind you on your way to the airport in a black car. I expected that. And you still want to leave? What can I do to convince you to stay? I can't think of anything. With you gone, I'll be like a fish out of water. I can't even write my own name, for goodness sakes. You'll survive. I have an idea. Why don't I buy Boston and bring it here? Would that make you happy? I'd like you to leave Boston alone, please. Haven't I told you you're my muse? No, but tell me more. You're my inspiration for living. Without you, I might just die. That's encouraging to hear, Miss Jacobs. That means my stay here was not a total waste. You're the light of my life. You're a star. Miss Jacobs, are you really going to do this? Where's your dignity? You know, I once had a role about a girl with no dignity, and this is her. Oh, I saw that film, and surely this is her, so I'm really scared. Why don't I help you unpack? Have you ever unpacked a suitcase before? Sorry, I was born in royalty, darling. Is that why you believe you can have whatever you want, including Boston? Pretty much. You can't just keep me here, Miss Jacobs. I'm trying to. My will is to leave. You can't keep me here. Technically, I can. I have bodyguards. Stop being a crybaby. You're 45. 41 to the public. Listen to me. You need to grow up and understand you can't always have what you want. I'm leaving whether you like it or not. So stop the crying and the acting and the stalling. Stop being so spoiled. You know what you can do for me? What is it? Change now. If you want me to see you in a better light, hand me my suitcase and allow me to walk out that door. But I don't want to change just for you to leave. I'm taking a break from you, Miss Jacobs. If you prevent me, I'll never come back. But if you let me out that door kindly, I may. Promise? You have my word. Thanks. You know, you didn't have to buy a plane ticket to Boston. I could have given you a ride in my private jet. I want to start out my new life simple. Will you call me? We'll have nothing to talk about. Whenever we talk, it's always about you. Tell me, what is my sure name? My age? Where I was born? Um, I'm sure I have that information on record somewhere. I'll call one day to see how you're doing. Please do. And I won't follow you in a black car. Anyway, I'm off. Have a good life, Miss Jacobs. Farewell, Yvette. She'll be back. 